What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarter. Let's get right off into this. So for a long time, people have been wondering where Kiki, Miss Kiki Hardbody went. For those of y'all who don't know who Kiki is, man, she was one of these. She was a girl who was like one of the first females to be featured on Champion as a co-host. She also um, did a lot of UW events and things like that. So she was really known in the battle rap community and feel like that. Um, and she just dropped out of the scene for like over the past couple years. Now she recently took to social media and release some devastating news, some incriminating, damaging news concerning Mav Hopper. She's a legend because it ain't been proven. She's a legend that Mav Hopper raped her and physically abused her. She took to... I'm going to read what she wrote. She took to social media. And this is what she had to say concerning math. I'm going to read her post, what she put. This is what she said. She said, the reason I stopped going to battles is he took the joy out of it from me. He the reason my life is completely altered forever. Yes, you read it right. This dickhead violated me. I promise, I mean, I spoke on some of it in my previous post on Instagram TV. And it took everything in me to share it with the world. I did the right thing. I went through the whole process, hospitals, rape kit, police, detectives, the DA, and the judicial system failed me, like, horribly, y'all. I wonder if I was white how this would have played out. I never asked or consented. I was celibate. I was celibate, too, and this really broke my heart. Even with him on tape apologizing, saying he heard me saying stop, and he did not, Admit, and he did not, admitting to choking me unconscious, even was holding me against my will, and some more stuff. This sounds like a horror story. However, it is my real life, and I demand justice. This is what she took to social media and put out there. These are some very strong allegations to be thrown on a person when it's not true. But if it is true, then he deserves everything that is going to happen to him. However, a lot of people have been sending me footage all morning, video clips, responses. And let me just say, I saw her video of her coming out. And talking about this situation. And after further deliberation, I'm not convinced. I'm sorry. I'm not convinced. If I'm going to go after somebody who is accused of doing this, I need more evidence. And I don't believe your, your live or your blog you did, it wasn't convincing enough to me. Because if you honestly was raped to me. I'm just speaking on me. If you really believe this man took something from you that you didn't want him to have and he violated you and disrespected you and choked you unconsciously, I think you were too lenient on him for a woman who didn't want that to happen to her. You held back rather than exposing. You should have let him have it. I didn't agree with what you put out there. This is no time to be lenient to a person who raped and attacked you. Who, according to you, is posing as your friend. 
and use that as some type of advantage to get close to you to rape you, like you alleged in the video. I'm sorry. I just don't agree with the way you handled yourself in that video. If he raped you and did that to you, you're supposed to tell it all. You're supposed to expose it, especially when you're saying things like, I could die tomorrow. All the, okay, well, guess what? I really want people to know the truth. Not, matter of fact, if something happened to me, this is who you go out of. That's what you do. That's what you do. When a person raped you, you don't be lenient on them. I like what the Bible say, what God said in the Bible. If a woman raped, then she don't cry out. If a person taking something from you, cry out. Cry out. You're being violated. You're being robbed of your self-respect. You're being robbed. That's what you do. You don't be lenient. And you don't care. This is when you fight. You fight now. And I believe you held back. And then you saying the judicial system failed you. My thing about that is this. You said you took rape kit. That dealing in DNA. If that man had his DNA inside you, that man should be locked up right now because that's all it really takes for the most part is DNA. If that man did what you said he did, there's a recording of him admitting to choking you and he apologizing why you didn't release the tapes. If you're going to come out and say something, you let him have it right then and there. You, you do it then. You don't say, well, I'm going to give you some, some and it's more to come. No. If I'm finna come out publicly and put this man out here like this, I'm finna let him have it. And you talking about you want the community help? If you really want people help and you want justice for yourself, then tell us. Tell us. Tell us what happened. Play for play. Let us know that we can help you. Speaking in circles and doing that, that's not enough. It's not enough. Especially if you want us to support you and get behind you. And we do. We don't condone rape and the violence to women in any type of way. We don't. And I promise you, if what you're saying is true about him, I put him away myself. Not like you think, but I mean, I go at him myself, period, because this will not be tolerated from nobody, not me, not anybody. But I cannot condemn this man based upon the evidence that you presented. It's not enough. It's not enough at all. It don't, a lot of things ain't lining up. You gotta you need to you need to give us more clearance. You need to do an interview with somebody. Somebody like me, who actually specializes in these things, breaking this stuff down and putting it out here. Cause you know damn well champion ain't gonna do it. Hip hop is real ain't gonna do it. 15 minutes of fame ain't gonna do it. They're afraid. I ain't scared. Hell, I ain't scared. But I'm also a realist. And I'm able and I'm wise enough to know if you're lying or not. And I'm not going to condemn that man on none of these things when it can't be proven that it's the truth. If that man raped you, you being too damn lenient. Let it out. Expose it. Tell it. You can cry on camera while you telling it. Long as you tell the truth. Tell it. You don't let nobody rape you, do that stuff to you, and you trying to get him a pass. Don't give him a pass. Tell it. Put it out there. I wish a person, if I was a woman, I wish a man would rape me and not get to live the tale. What? Hell no. Everybody finna know. And I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep blowing the whistling horn. He going to wish he would have killed me. 
You can't rape me and let me live. Hell no. And I didn't want you to? And you choking me unconscious? What? Tell it. If you're going to tell it, tell it. And you talking about you want justice. What you think going to happen if they arrested him? You would have to take the stand and tell it. Tell it. Detail by detail. Tell it. Bring your tissue with you. Bring your water with you if you need. Tell it. Get your emotions under control and tell it. This was not enough. I can't convict that man off this. You saying a lot of things that just don't line up. You had a rape kit. Okay, what was the DNA results? Was it his or not? Because usually that's all it takes. Was he even arraigned? Was he arrested? Was he fingerprinted? Was he taken in? Was he questioned? You're not giving us nothing. You're just saying a little thing. What happened? You said the justice system failed you. What happened? Was he bought in? Was he questioned? Was he fingerprinted, arraigned? Like, what happened? What the charges dropped? Was he even charged? It's not enough evidence. I'm sorry. No. No, 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 no. You got to do better than that. I didn't like that video you did. And then you like, you know, I could tell more, you know, y'all cash app me. What you mean cash app you? What are you talking about? Now this don't look right. Now this don't look right. You talking about you an entrepreneur and that you 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 an inspirational speaker and you speaking in case you might be helping somebody else. How if you're not helping yourself? How? You're a motivational, inspirational speaker. If you're a motivator, inspirational speaker, why are you not speaking about the situation? Tell it. Tell it. Let them know how to do it. Let them know how to do it in case, like you said, somebody else going through it. If somebody else going through it, let them know how to do it by you taking a stand, by you being bold, by you having the courage, by you confronting your, uh, 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 the guy who did it to you. And you letting it be known and you put it out there. You put it out there. That's how we going to believe you. That's how we going to rally around you. But when you talking in circles and doing all this and you ain't really saying nothing and you just throwing things out there and we supposed to put all the pieces together for you, no. No. No, 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 no. Women who don't want to be raped, they going to open their mouth. They going to say something. I don't care. You can't take nothing from me and walk around all proud like it wasn't nothing and you got away with it. Uh-uh. You didn't get away with this. That's what you're supposed to do. I wasn't satisfied. And why, why wasn't the DA and the detectives and police, why wasn't they able to get a charge out of him? Usually when a person raped a woman, they can get four or five different charges out of it. Why don't he have not one charge on him? You talking about you did a DNA kit, rape kit. I ain't saying that you wrong. I mean, I ain't saying that you lying. But I'm just saying, this just not making sense. He ain't no superstar. He ain't rich. He's just a regular street guy. Why would the why would the DA or police them be scared to arrest a regular street guy? Come on now. That just don't line up with me, girl. It really don't. It don't line up with me. I'm willing to help you. But you got the first show that you actually really won't help. I even come out of my pocket to help you financially if you're telling the truth. If you're telling the truth. But I'm wise enough to know if you're not telling the truth. And I'm not satisfied with what I heard. If you got raped and he took something from you, why are you sparing him? Don't spare him. You put it out there. That being said, man. Math, you definitely got some explaining to do, too. You got some explaining to do.
But Kiki, if it's actually true, then you got some more evidence to present. You don't have enough evidence. You do not have enough evidence. So you need to come on with it, girl. You need to come on with it. Now, I have been investigating this thing already. I didn't talk to some people in battle rap, some reliable sources who told me some things. So guess what, girl? I do know some things. I know some things. But guess what? No matter what you did, no matter what your past is, right is right, wrong is wrong. Nobody have a right to take nothing from you that you wasn't willing to give them at all. I don't care who it is. I don't care who you lay down with. You can lay down with 20, 30, 40 different men. They mean that you wanted him to be one of them. So I get you on that. Sometimes hoes get raped. Just because a woman could be a hoe selling her body, prostitute, they can get raped too. They can get raped too. Sometimes sometime liars tell the truth. A person could be known as a liar. Sometimes they can tell the truth too sometimes. You didn't present enough evidence. I advise you this. Next time you speak out and do some things like that, if you're not going to do an interview with me or... Uh, Somebody who, you know, who really specialize in these things. Let me just tell you this. You got to be more detailed. You got to be more open. You got to let it out. Don't hold nothing back. If it's the truth, it ain't going to bother you. If it's the truth, it's the truth. But if it's a lie, then it definitely will come back. But if it's the truth, it's the truth. You ain't got nothing to worry about. If a person raped you and took something from you, you should let them, you should air them out. I wasn't satisfied in what I heard. I didn't like that stuff at all. At all. And I don't see how this man ain't been arrested. If all, if you said all that, and you believe he left some DNA in you and stuff like that, and you got all these recordings, release the recordings. You need to do this over, girl. And you need to call me soon as possible, 414-235-6760. If it's true, I'll do your interview and let you tell your story so that the battle rap community can hear it play for play. And with that being said, man, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's some question. It's yours. I need more evidence. It's not enough.